Hey, Lama here, and welcome to the next episode in our series of our playthrough of Ark Survival Ascended on the Island official PvE servers on the Xbox. So this will be lucky 13. This is the 13th episode. So in the last episode, if you didn't catch it, we managed to defeat the Broodmother on Gamma with two Megatheriums. So we've now unlocked the Tech Replicator. Um, but because the uh, Gamma Broodmother is pretty stingy with the element, we will not have enough element to craft that until after we've done at least another four fights uh, or maybe uh, have done the monkey fight, which is what we need to work on next. So. We have the artifact of the Devourer that we got when we did the Kano Island Cave, uh, but we still need the artifact of the Brute from the Easy Underwater Cave, and we need the artifact of the Pack from the Upper South Cave, and that's the one that we're going to go and get next. Okay, so here we are. We're uh, just waiting on the last 20 seconds or so on the Cryo Fridge. Now, I'm going to put the Rhino inside the cryo fridge this time uh, only because this cave can be a little unpredictable and i don't want to die in this cave with the rhino on me so if i lose the wolf that i'm taking in that would be bad but if i lose the rhino that would be worse let's say so let's have a look what have we got uh we can now deploy cryopods so uh, let's hop out of our little metal box that we've created here and throw at the wolf there we go nice now we're quite close to the um, actual cave itself that's just before we hop on the wolf let's reload our shotgun and now so what do we have with us for this run so i've got a uh, picked up a loot drop on the way so apologies for all the stuff in my inventory but um we've got some grapple hooks uh, we've got shotgun shells uh we have some water some spare water um food spare food and we've got some stimulants some health brews uh some lesser antidote because there's a lot of bats in this cave uh we got a sword and a shotgun obviously and we have a crossbow to shoot the grapple hooks we need the grapple hooks to um to uh, apply the method that i'm using to get the artifact uh, as far as armor is concerned we've got some pretty good flak um, some of it's taken a few hits you can see uh, but should be fine to get us through for the majority of the cave we won't be wearing the flak and that's because there are a lot of arthros in this cave so uh, we will take the flak off and we have um, some uh, health brews to hopefully keep us alive long enough now entrance to the cave should be over here here it is uh, so let me just show you on the map so we have 71.4 57.2 puts you smack bang in front of the cave uh, and i've just noticed we've got some levels on the direwolf two thank you we'll take that and uh, we'll put those all into melee and we will enter the cave now um we're gonna just sort of get in get the artifact and get out in this instance so there's a few different paths you can take to get the artifact um, i'm going to take the easiest path i know uh, which does involve the use of grapple hooks and it does involve the use of a wolf because um I'll leave a link up the top to the full walkthrough that I did of this cave. Um, but really, the wolf is the only creature that you can get in and out on. Um, the, uh, if uh, A lot of people take a baryonyx in, but you can get it in the cave, but you can't get it back out again. So there's a couple of choke points in this cave that you can only get a wolf through. Uh, maybe a saber tooth. I haven't actually tried with a saber tooth, but I believe they're the same size. Uh, I'm not sure they jump sort of profile is the same but uh, you may be able to use a saber tooth as well uh, but i like to use the wolf so we head through this big area of this cave we're going to run through this fairly quickly uh, and before we start hitting things which are going to hit us back uh, let's get this armor off uh, because there are arthros in this cave and they uh, you come across them sort of fairly early in the piece to be to be honest uh, let's hop down here you could have gone down there, but why would you? Through this little tunnel. And we're pretty much sticking to the right as we go through here. 
uh, and then this will bring us out to the first area where stuff is going to want to do nasty things to us which is through this little sort of low point uh, and let's get a sneaky peek all right it looks kind of looks okay actually you never know we are on official servers so you never know when someone's been through here just before you <laughs> all right we've got some snakes there they're easy to get rid of and we'll chomp them up because we might be able to use that meat to heal ourselves later on and um, what have we got that's a dung beetle not too worried about that let's keep going there's a bat onic these are you can see level 45 so not super high levels in this cave and um, so anything in this cave because this is an under 150 uh, cap cave uh, anything in this cave can be tamed so if you're looking to get yourself the uh, master zoologist achievement for example and taming all the creatures on the ark uh, you will only be able to do that by taming things like onic or aranio which are in caves and this is one of those caves that you can do that in so we just follow this path down there's only really at this stage there's only one way you can go uh, and this is one of those choke points I mentioned so the wolf can just jump it uh, so we need to get in the right spot so he jumps forward we can get him through Whoop. that's it so we're through So if you want to keep going down, you keep going down. The cave, the uh, bottom section of the cave that we're looking for, you have to go down to get there. So we'll keep going down this tunnel. And we get to here. So this is now the second uh, point. You could, uh, you could jump off if you wanted to, or you can just follow the path round. And... Here we go, we've got a bat in him. There's like an explorer note there. If you're looking for XP notes. Uh, my character's sort of capped out at 106 at the moment, which is its standard sort of max level plus a chibi level. Um, so I haven't, uh, there's not much point in me doing explorer notes because I don't get the XP buff. buff. I'll uh, wait until I've got some more levels before I do that. All right, what have we got here? I thought I heard an Arthro. Can't see one, but I'm sure I heard one. All right, let's get these Onic out of the way. Keep going down. And if we go to the left there, you can see there's a lot of bad stuff there. That's, uh, if you want, there's another Explorer note through there, I think. But we're not gonna go that way today. We're gonna go to the right. And we're going to follow this path down. I'm going to keep going down here. And all the way down through this section. Into this open area. Now again, there's a couple of explorer notes in that tour. There's an explorer note in that ruin. Uh, and over here we've got some bad stuff. Oh, that's a dung beetle. Don't really care about that, to be fair. But these bats and these spiders, we need to get rid of. So anything really that's down in this lower area we want to kill. Um, because when we come to going and getting the artifact, we're going to grapple hook away and we're going to leave the wolf down here. Uh, now because cryopods can no longer be deployed like just wherever you want, um, we will not be podding the wolf um, because once we do that then we have to get out of here on foot because we can't unpod it again. Um, so we're going to have to leave the wolf down here while we go and get the artifact. Uh, and in some cases, and maybe not so much today, but uh, you will stay um, you know, with the wolf uh, for quite some time um, or away from the wolf for quite some time because you may be focused on getting yourself a few artifacts 
but today we won't be doing that. We're just going to grab ourselves one so that we can get the uh, monkey fight done. And we'll come back and farm some more another day. Uh, I say that mainly because I forgot to bring the otter with me. In hindsight, I really should have brought the otter with me. These things happen. We'll just kill all this stuff here. Uh, and you can see we're now we're on the other side of that ruin. There's another Arthro. Get everything out of there. Nice. The wolf's a little bit encumbered. Uh, we'll take some meat. And we'll drop everything else. And then we can put the meat back in there. And he can just sit there and heal himself up a little bit while we go and do the next stage. Now we're going to get as close to the edge here as we can. So I'm going to be honest, we need to get up there um, in that direction. Uh, and we're going to have to grapple up there. Now in this water, this water is full of piranha. Uh, and there are probably, we killed a Sarko then just a second ago, but there are probably another at least another two or three in there. Um, so uh, firstly, I like to try and come to the edge of the water here and just see if I can aggro any of the Sarko out of the water um, to try and come and get me. And it doesn't look like they're interested. Uh, but you really don't want to end up in that water. That is a very bad idea. Uh, the other thing that you do want to do is you want to make sure that you have aggroed everything in this area. So run around here. Uh, make sure there's nothing still left here that's going to um, surprise your wolf while you're gone. Uh, and for that reason as well, you really should leave your wolf on uh, neutral uh, while you are off getting your artifact. So, okay, I think we've got everything in the area. So let's go back to here. That's not a living Arthro, is it? Pretty sure it's not. No, it's not. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, I, for some reason, feel more comfortable when I leave the wolf up here on these stairs. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably doesn't make any difference. Now, at this stage, we will put on our flat again. Because when we get to... So, first things uh, is that if things go horribly wrong here and we end up in the water... Uh, the flak will help keep us alive, uh, to, to be quite blunt. Um, if the piranhas attack you, you will need something to uh, prevent you from dying very quickly. So uh, flak will be the ticket. The second thing, uh, we will take definitely take our shotgun shells and our grapple hooks with us. Uh, but everything else, we're just going to leave in the wolf because we don't really need to be carrying the extra weight, to be honest. Um, but the flak we will need because when we get up the top there, there's a reasonable chance that there are going to be bats and spiders up there. So we're going to need our shotgun at the ready and we're going to need to um, make sure that we've got our armor on as well. All right. Now, if you can see, oh, the grass on this... Uh, ASA is terribly high, so the moment you step into it, that's it. So if you can see over here, we've got this little A sort of shape um, up, and that's the absolute peak of it there. Uh, so you really want to be, that's, that's the little hole that we need to get through. So we need to grapple up there, um, and in order to do so, you kind of want to grapple towards the top of it here. Uh, so that's what we're going to aim for, but we need to get a little bit closer to the edge to do that. Uh, and we need to hope that a Sarko is not going to grab us while we're doing that. So there's our A. There's the top. And that's what we want to aim for. Okay, so we've got our grapple. Let's reel ourselves in. And hope we got the right spot. Yeah, we kind of did. Okay. So, as you can see, stuff in there. Get the shotgun out straight away. We've got snakes, we've got bats. Now, we need to remember here that the bats will knock back. So you do not want to end up falling back down again into the water. Where'd the bat go? There he is. 
Uh, but on the plus side, the bats here are quite low level. So you should not have too much trouble getting rid of them. Well, now that one's mate boosted, so that suggests to me there's another one. And you do tend to get wall creatures in this tunnel, so you'll get some creatures just hiding in the wall, which is not great. All right, let's head through here. Let's reload our shotgun, that's probably a good idea. Now the artifact should be at the end of this tunnel. And you might find that near the artifact, there's like a spider or it could be an arthro or something like that. Another snake. Doesn't look like there's anything, which is good. Uh, the other thing that can happen is you can get sarcos in the water here. Um, and they can grab you as you are grabbing the artifact. So let me get that. Artifact of the pack. Brilliant. So that's one more of the artifacts that we need in order to do the monkey fight. Okay, here we are back at base. So we have the artifact of the pack now. Um, what else have I been up to? So I've obtained a couple of these Archaeopteryx. These are, if you watched my um, preparing for Ark Survival Ascended, you will remember that I used one of these to get through the tech cave, uh, the alpha tech cave, um, right at the end of the series. Uh, so basically the plan there was to do alpha tech cave with add any dinos, um, just with a tech suit shotgun. Uh, and I used uh, these one of these guys to get through. So I've tamed myself some of those. Um, I have bred one up. Um, or oh, sorry, bred one up, got some eggs, I should say, um, and I've popped them in Big Bird to incubate them, so they are now ready to hatch. Uh, now, because uh, my Gigantoraptor is leveled up to level 261 now, um, so it was a 216 uh, after Tang, I can easily hatch either of these inside the Gigantoraptor, um, and then you can play this like this little mini game to get uh, an instant 30% uh, imprint blueprint and uh, and also uh, it will bond the Archaeopteryx with the uh, the actual Gigantoraptor which gives the Archaeopteryx a boost if it's used within range of the Gigantoraptor which is not going to be hugely useful but um, but the imprint boost uh, will probably be worth doing because um, it will give us an instant 30% imprint and um, get us uh, give us a bit of a head start. Uh, the other thing, so I've been grinding out for saddles um, and we have, um, I think have I got one ready to go. It'd be good if I did. Oh, I do. There we go. So you would remember our blueprint uh, we have there, um, like, really quite expensive, as I said. So I've uh, been crafting these in the RG because all of these materials will not fit in the smithy. So similar to the um, Megatherium saddle, um, I've done these in the RG. No point to do crafting skill because it's a capped uh, cap saddle. Um, so each time I've got enough materials to make one, I make myself a new one. Uh, and um, what have we got now? We need, we still have enough fiber for, oh, just another one, almost two. Um, and we need more hide and more metal. Uh, what have we got? I think I've got more hide somewhere, clearly not in here. That's Chitin from doing the brood mother. Uh, here we go, here's some hide. Let's see, can we gonna give us oh that's that's the wrong thing there we go and pop that in there uh, oh yeah there we go we can make another one of those and we just need some ingots but um, I would not I'm gonna grab that one out of there so we've got about I've, I've got about 13 or 14 of those made now so we're Pretty much on our way to having all the saddles we need to do the monkey, uh, which is good. Let's pop that away. Uh, and what else has been happening? Now, 
I have also been thinking, so time is getting tight now. We're getting towards Scorched Earth release. Uh, and I'm sort of running out of time, so I'm going to have to pick the pace up a little bit here. Um, I've gone and tamed myself some additional bees so that I can get beehives producing honey um, so that we can make sweet veggie cakes. Uh, so we've got our crops, we've got our honey. Um, I've put some sap taps down, so I'm collecting some sap. And uh, I've got that sap and some stimulant. Oh, it's already in here, actually. Um, ready to go. Uh, I need, obviously need more sap and I need more stimulant as well. Uh, and then as the honey comes through, I can craft myself up some veggie cakes because we're going to need those to do the dragon uh, when we get to the dragon itself. And we've got some theories that I'm raising at the moment uh, and I still need to find a Therizino blueprint. But let's finish the video off uh, for this one with, let's hatch these guys, see what we get. So as you can see, you, uh, the eggs are incubated. You can hatch it in the saddle like that. It will ask you to name it. Now, if the dino is too high a level for the Gigantoraptor to hold it, it will drop it next to it. But because it's not, um, it puts it in that uh, uh, basket automatically on its saddle. And let's do the same with this one. Nice. That one's the same. So that's a, so we've got a 120 and a 110. So that's not bad. I, I don't mind that. Oh, let's grab some water first. And then we can head off and we can play this little mini game. So you see on either side of my hotbar down the bottom, there is a thing that says resting. Uh, 0 out of 15 and now the left hand one says bonding and it says level 50 plus So the Archaeopteryx wants me to kill this trike as you can see from the red skull and crossbones And so if we do that It shouldn't be too much of a problem. There we go. Now. It's gone resting 1 out of 15 So I have to do that 15 times um, For each of these <laughs> This is gonna take a hot minute um, so I've got to do it 30 times uh, and yeah we'll look for so this one's looking for creatures over level 60 because this is obviously the 120 so it's a little bit higher uh, and there we go we've got a level 85 iguanodon we can kill that and the right hand side now has gone 1 to 15 left hand side will now look for a creature over level 50 it's fanged one and we can go and kill that next. And this is just really just rinse and repeat. Uh, this is the mini game. It's not, there we go, two out of 15. So we got that guy. Um, when you get to the end of this, the creature will be bonded. Uh, I believe then your Gigantoraptor gets this boost, um, which is like a, I think it's called alloparental Fury or something like that. I can't remember. Not Fury. It might be uh, one of the. There's two stages uh, apparently. One's um, the one gives a lot better boost than the other. Uh, but the first one's quite low, and what it means effectively is you get uh, you do additional damage, you take less damage, and you um, get extra XP uh, while you've got that buff running. And so while, once you've finished bonding with things, um, that buff will run and pretty much a good opportunity to level up your Gigantoraptor even further um, if uh, that's what you're looking to do. So I've that's, that's how I've leveled this one. So what I've been doing is basically um, claiming babies, uh, running around, bonding them like this, and then when you get that buff at the end of it, um, just go around and see like if you can kill an alpha or you can kill whatever with your Gigantoraptor, um, and then your Gigantoraptor will get a nice healthy boost so you can see here it says it cannot find any nearby creatures of level 60 plus to hunt if it comes up and says that you just got to keep moving change areas run to a different section until one of those boxes down the bottom goes red there we go we got one level 90 carbony Stomp, stomp, stomp. 
Nice. Done. Well, there we go. Artifact of the pack secured. Uh, that is, we're now two thirds of the way to getting our monkey fight done. Uh, we've got our Rex saddles almost done. Our Rex is uh, cryo leveling as we speak. Um, we just have the easy underwater cave to do uh, to get the artifact of the brute and we're good to go ahead and do our second boss. So we're gonna do that in the next video. Um, I have tamed myself up and bred some basilos, uh, which I did uh, did a short recording of that not too long ago, um, but it didn't kind of fit in the flow of the videos that I was releasing at the time. So, um, so the next video will start off with that tame uh, which was done during the Love Evolved event. Uh, and then I'll show you the Basilos that I've bred and leveled um, from uh, the uh, the ones that I tamed uh, during that event. And, uh, and then we can crack on and get through the easy water cave. Uh, and then maybe even do the monkey uh, straight afterwards. So it depends on how long it takes us to do the cave, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop me a like, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next video. I'm Lama, and I'm out of here.